Hi folks. Uh, so I am at the bioengineering facility here. Uh, it's around 12:30 in the night. Mm. I've been working. Uh, I'm reading. I've been reading a few papers till now. I have my comprehensive examination coming up in about a month's time. And before the exam, I need to send out a, a report, com like a comprehensive report about the work that I've carried out uh, around 15 days before the exam date. So that is that. That aside. Uh, so today, uh, what I wanted to talk to you about. Is that many people have asked me about mtech research program at iic uh, so i want to talk to you about that uh, the thing is that uh, this mtech research program has been started only very recently uh, before that it was called msc basically msc ms research okay so master of science by research so it is similar to the ms degree that people go for abroad uh, in us or european universities so in IIC also had an MSc degree, it was usually called the MSc degree. Uh, engineering departments also offered this degree, uh, like civil engineering, electrical engineering, CEDT, DESC, uh, mechanical engineering, aerospace engineering, all these departments used to have this MSc degree. It's basically M capital S and small c, okay, MSc degree. But then uh, recently this degree's name got changed basically to MTech research. So it's fundamentally the master of science degree only, but it's called MTech research now. People have asked me about that. Okay, so what is the difference between a regular M.Tech degree or an M.E. degree and an M.Tech research degree? Uh, this is because first thing is the duration. M.Tech is well, very well defined. Uh, you do a lot of courses. Uh, uh, the coursework is a major component of the degree. And then there is a project that you have to carry out in the last six months and it's a two year course. Okay, that is very clear to you. M.Tech, M.E. is also similar. But M.Tech research is not very well defined. Okay. Uh, it can go up to two and a half to three years because there is a thesis component here. So you should understand the difference between a thesis and a project. An MTech project is about solving a, a small problem of somebody's a, a bigger problem. You try to address that small problem and solve it. You arrive at a technological solution. That's a project. But a thesis would have would have a broader research uh, goal, a research idea that you're trying to address. Uh, not as big as one that you approach for a PhD degree but then still a formidable problem in itself okay that's why it's called mtech research problem uh, work so the mtech research would involve a considerable amount of considerable amount of coursework but then still you would have a thesis component in your master's degree and the thesis component may take 6 months may take 1 month 1 year they give you time up to 3 years to complete your degree okay so mtech is well defined 2 years mtech research is not exactly well defined time wise it has a research component to it Okay, so uh, and somebody has told me that there is direct admission to MTech research program in IIC. I don't think that is true as per my knowledge. I've been here for some time now. Uh, so it's basically the admission to the research programs at IIC. It's basically the admissions to the research programs at IIC. And the research programs are either the PhD degree, the direct PhD degree or the MTech research program. Okay, the cutoffs are similar. So they interview you. So they, they might take you either for the PhD degree or they might take you for the MTech research degree. That's the whole idea. Okay. So that is the difference between the MTech degree and the MTech research degree. So people, so why, why go for an MTech research? Uh, pros and cons. Uh, cons are that it takes more time. If you are looking for a master's degree only, it takes more time. It takes at least two and a half years, if not three years. Um, and uh, con would be, uh, maybe an MTech degree would be more attractive to a company that comes for placement than the mtech research degree because it's not a very conventional degree that's offered in other iits many iits have ms programs but it's not that well established as a degree right but the pros is that you get a good flavor of research if you are intending to go into phd work or into research higher research uh, next level of research then mtech research program would give you a stepping path to do your uh, phd work okay many of my friends uh, have done uh, ms research and then gone on to convert it to a PhD degree. So yeah, many of them have gone on to uh, do an MS research and then gone on to do a PhD degree. So it will give you a good confidence level, a good favor or hands-on experience into what goes on into doing a research, especially in an institution like IAS. Okay, that would be the major plus point of taking an MS research degree. Okay, there is also a downside to it, uh, practically from a practical point of view. So if you are intention, if you are very clear that you want to do a PhD degree, and then the, there is no actual point in trying to get an MS research degree, spending around three years, and then again spending around four years to get a PhD degree. Correct? Do you understand? You are. I think you are understanding my point, right? So that is there. 
so instead of that you can get a conventional if you if you are if you also are of the are of the opinion that you need a master's degree before you go on to do a phd then you can have an mtech degree which is a very well defined degree with less tension two years you will get the mtech degree and then you go on to a proper phd work and finish that in around 4 to 5 years it will still take the same time or you can even finish your phd much earlier but ms research would take a 3 years by then itself you would have fatigued a little bit trying to solve your research problem and then you take up another research problem for your phd degree so there are chances that you might get fatigued by doing similar research problems but in the other case you you do a small project then you go on to a proper research problem for your phd degree so this this is a very personal decision some people would like to get a flavor of actual research and then take that research up as a bigger problem so for them ms research or mtech research would be a good option for those who are only looking at industry and want to go into a job and not necessarily want to do a phd degree then mtech is a good option you don't need to do, go do a mtech research because that thesis component is absolutely not necessarily and in my opinion for you to get into a job if you mtech research is useful only if you want to go into a phd degree as a next step and also when you want to have a flavor of research before you enter phd okay i hope you have understood what the what the mtech research program is and what are the pros and cons of it and uh, these are all my personal opinions you can have your opinions about it uh, have a great time bye